Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed your workout today. We're in the skill development part of our lesson now, which means a brand new sport this week. So take a look at this video and see if you know the sport. Know the sport? Yeah, it's volleyball. Okay, so volleyball is a really fun game to play. It's quite tricky, but there are lots of things that we can practice and do at home just for a bit of fun so we learn a bit more about the game. So we've uh, done some cricket using a bat and a ball. We've done some football using our feet. We're on to volleyball now, so we get to use our hands and our upper body. So let's talk about how we need to set up our hands first for volleyball. It's kind of strange. Okay, first thing we need to do is put your hand out flat. And then you need to get your other hand and get it flat as well and cross your fingers. So they kind of make an L shape. Can you see that? So I have it down like this. It kind of makes a sort of triangle shape. The next thing we need to do is bring our thumbs together. After this, this bit gets a bit tricky now. We need to try to push our elbows. So these bits, we need to try and push them up, okay? Up and forward. So think about doing that. Think about trying to bend your elbow out as far as it will go. So out this way, okay? So hand flat, other hand across it, making an L shape, fingers crossing each other, thumbs together, elbows out. Okay, if I move back a little bit, what you'll see is when I do this, elbows up, can you notice my shoulders? Notice how my shoulders come in, yeah? That's what's gonna happen like that. So it feels maybe a bit uncomfortable like this, but this is the position that we hit the ball with, okay? Like this. Have a couple of practices like this. See if you can keep doing it and get your hands like that nice and quickly. Because in volleyball, we will have our hands ready, and then we'll just need to go into this position, okay? So the quicker and more comfortable you can do it, the better. Have a go. Let's talk about how we actually hit the ball. So when we get our hands like this, and we turn out our elbows. The reason we're turning out our elbows is because we want to hit the ball on this area of our forearms, on the bottom part of our arms. So if you would wear a watch or something, or where you've seen mummy and daddy wear a watch, you just wanna be hitting the ball just above that area, okay? That's the best area to hit the ball. Now, we've got our hands and our thumbs nice and flat and everything else nice and flat, so we accidentally hit the ball somewhere else here or a little bit higher up. Hopefully, it won't be too much of a problem, but the best place to hit it is just above where your watch would be, okay? So, just like that. Okay, so now we know how our hands need to go together, we can start thinking about our feet. So what we want to have is our feet just outside our shoulders, okay? So if you do a couple of little jumps, that'll probably put your feet just under your shoulders. So you just wanna go a little bit wider than your shoulders. Not too wide, so you're uncomfortable, and not right next to each other, so you're not balanced, okay? So a couple of little jumps, and then a little step outside just to get them outside your shoulders. Next thing to do is, is to bend and put your hands on your knees. Okay, so this would be the position you would be in if you were doing sumo or something, you were trying to push someone over, okay? That's the kind of stance you want to be in. So it's nice and low and nice and controlled. All right, next thing, you just want to put one of your feet a little bit forward, okay? So it might be that one, depends on what feels comfortable to you, it might be that one, okay? We put our foot just a little bit forward just so that we're more athletic. It means we're ready to move whatever happens. And the last thing we do is, is just make sure we're not flat on our feet, we're just up on the balls of our feet a little bit, yeah? 
So we're ready to move, okay? That's not on your tippy toes. It's not right down flat. It's just heels up a little bit, ready to move. Okay, so let's look at that again. Couple of jumps. Get your feet just outside your shoulders. Hands on your knees, so you're bent over an athletic stance. Put one foot just a little bit forward and on the balls of your feet. Then you're ready to quickly get your hands together into your volleyball position. Have a go. All right, we're gonna play a game now. So we're gonna need some things. Um, best thing to have would be a balloon. Uh, but if you don't have a balloon, you can just use a plastic bag that you've blown up and tied a knot in. Um, if you can get both, even better, because they both offer a different level of challenge, okay? Other than that, you'll just need an area on the floor that you can mark out that you need to try and stay inside, okay? That's our safe area. So it's a bit difficult to see in my video, but I have a pet bottle here, 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 and here here on four corners of about a one meter square, okay? This is my safe zone, I'm gonna try and stay inside it because the game is hot rocks, okay? We are on the very last rock uh, left in the lava field. Everywhere else is lava, we don't want to go in there. Our balloon or our plastic bag is our very special hot rock, okay? We've saved it from the lava, but it's so hot, we can't just hold it. We have to keep it bouncing in the air so that it doesn't burn our hands. So we need to stay inside our area. We don't want to go outside and melt our feet. And we need to keep our very precious hot rock up in the air so it doesn't burn our hands. So to do this, we're going to get into our volleyball stance. We're gonna be practicing our volleyball arms and we're gonna try and keep that hot rock up in the air and try and keep it in control in this area so we don't go outside ah, and burn our feet. Okay, let's see if I can do this with the balloon. All right, so get into my stance, one foot forward. I'm on my toes, ready to move. I'm gonna throw it in the air a little bit then quickly get my hands into the volleyball position. Okay, here I go. Little gentle taps. Oh, I've got to move a bit. Keep it. Oh, I don't want to step backwards. I don't want to leave my zone. Whew. Okay, I don't know how long I can do this. Oh, I've melted my feet. All right, let's give the plastic bag a go as well. So, feet just outside shoulders, one foot forward, balls of the feet, ready to get my hands into volleyball positions when I throw it up, let's go. Actually, I think the plastic bag might be a little bit easier because it's a little bit flatter and goes a bit straighter. The balloon kind of went left and right a bit and was a bit tricky. Give this one a go as well. 